Hi everyone, I'm introducing another short code uh, for your convenience. AP results with type content list. So in case you want to re display results on a page like new page and you and you don't know the coding and you want to list your pages posts or whatever even your images or your media so what you exactly need to do for example all pages you can name it anything authors books or whatever right all pages and put this short code for pagination here publish open this page look here right so recently I got a query about this case that uh, mostly users uh, don't know about the custom queries and uh, they, they want to display the results on a single page like this or a single post so what you exactly need to do is use this latest short code AP results here that's it update refresh right on refresh you're getting all the results and if you will click on B it should work but a few settings are required here on your settings page alphabetic pagination and instead of auto you have to use custom right select that page you can select multiple pages like I was testing it on results page but for now uh, for you I have created another one all pages so make sure that you are holding the control key so you can select the multiple items here all pages and save changes right now click on all pages and tell it that do you want pay post only page only attachment or any any kind of post types like WooCommerce product is here product variation shop. I mean all post types are here but mostly you will be using these two so I'm selecting uh, page for this time and I will explain this query number later what is the query number means post or page save changes refresh it's still not working why in fact in WordPress every page is being rendered with the default query which is query number one that is main query in fact like every page whenever we open a page so there is a query uh, working behind which is being executed that is query number one so any query which either you are involving or any plugin is making a call to the database so that query will be query number two three four according to the uh, priority or in inserted in the file so I'm recommending that if you are not having any other query so you should use the query number three here right three or you can try two because if you are not having any other query so after the main query your query will be here so two number query number two 
with page post type refresh this B has no page okay C right C there are four pages starting with the letter C D okay date picker now if I change it to only post okay do you, uh, did you notice that uh, I'm not getting anything uh, saved here because it's jQuery you have to refresh it properly now we will see the result here okay if I select it to post only save changes and refresh do you see d1 d2 delta so these are post only okay now let's combine both save refresh look here d1 d2 and delta are post date picker is a page that's it so what exactly uh, query number is that you are not disturbing the main query I mean if you will enter one so it will uh, modify the query number one so results will not be there refresh look here oops that page can't be found because we implemented the alphabetic condition on query number one so we do not need to disturb the query number one we have to use query number two and onward three four how many uh, how many queries you are using in your page because you can have multiple queries like here for pages then down for post developers can understand it well but for a normal user I'm providing this short code that simply you need to paste pagination short code and results short code that's it it's a pro feature obviously uh, but yes it worth thank you bye bye